Hello everyone, today on the One Year Life Challenge we're going to talk about the problem with positive thinking. Hello everyone, as mentioned in the intro we're going to talk about positive thinking but more importantly we're going to talk about the problem with positive thinking. So often you're told just be positive or think positively and I really want you to take a think about the times in your life where that's really served you long term and I want to really explore this idea rather than just those catchphrases like be positive and, and you know think positively. So as always I'm going to begin with a quote and that quote is, don't you know about the praying mantis that waved its arm angrily in front of an approaching carriage, unaware that they were incapable of stopping it? Such was the high opinions it had of its talents. The complete works of Chain 2. So the praying mantis, obviously thinking that it could shout and scare the carriage out of its way, eventually was run over by the carriage because it wasn't aware that there were limitations to what it could do from its conscious mind. You know, rather than just react to the situation, it was going to fight it with a belief system that was better than the carriage. And I see this so often with positive thinking. People are in situations which are lessons for them. And rather than deal with a direct lesson in front of them, they want to positively, like a magic spell, make it go away. Well, you know, I'm just going to be positive or I'm just going to um, see the bright side of this. And that's okay as long as you're completely aware of what reality is currently serving you. You should never look at things better than they are and definitely never look at things worse than they are. Look at them as they unfold in the beauty of nature, the beauty of people, the beauty of situations and lessons and challenges. Constantly keeping a thought in your head that this is good, this is good, this is good, is going to blind you to what's actually in front of you. And it can turn on you so quickly. Positive thinking is just that ego, that voice telling you that you know, you're know you great, it's going to work out. What's going to work out? The story that you've been told, because that story keeps changing. Every time you meet someone new or you start a new job, the story's already evolving and changing. It's because the ego has no clue. It just repeats the echoes of what it sees to try and keep in control. But ultimately, positive thinking does not serve you. And I want to explain a little bit deeper and a little bit further why. So I'll begin with a story, and that story goes. A certain warrior received a medal, a medal for each battle that he won. His friends admired his courage and his charisma to the point where he became such an incredible warrior that he had an entire kimono full of medals and ribbons commemorating all of his victories. One day in combat, the warrior was almost hit by an enemy, enemy, an enemy sword as close as he did ever come to death on the battlefield. He immediately realized that his agility, his ability to duck and weave, was being compromised by all the medals. He immediately took all his medals off and threw them into the fire and said, victory can give me confidence, but it must not become a weight to carry me down. And that's what happens with lots of positive expectations and positive beliefs. That yes, they're beautiful, they look shiny and they're great and they're really smiley, but the more and more you carry on to yourself, the less flexible you are. An example would be, you could imagine having positive thinking about getting a house by the beach, house by the beach, house by the beach, house by the beach. And then opportunities arise where, for, for example, you get a chance to travel to New York and you don't take it because you're so absolutely positive, positively focused on your house on the beach. But what could have New York generated? New York could have generated experiences that could have led you to what you ultimately wanted, but you rejected it because you carried all these positive you know, shiny things on you, which ultimately were help not allowing you to see the world unfold in front of you. So when things come at you, just like when the warrior was trying to duck and weave, you're not as flexible and as agile. So what are the problems? What are the real problems? Let's go through them one by one, the real problems with positive thinking. One, it takes you out of the present. The way you feel about the current situation in front of you is generally appropriate. Layering on top of that, another feeling is just going to confuse things. And to be a positive thinker, you have to think of the future, things getting better. Now, when you're thinking of things getting better and they don't match your reality, you want to really start to struggle. You need to change your expectations for appreciations and you'll become happy immediately. Number two, it removes trust and acceptance of the way. You hear me talk about the way all the time. It's simply the unfolding process of the universe that's in front of your eyes right now. And the more positive thinking that you apply to the situation, the more you ignore the true realms of what's happening in front of you. And it's all beautiful, it's all love. You don't need to think positively. You don't need to go, well, this is great. The sun's out today, this is great. Of course it's great. It's part of the 
the way. And once you have faith in the way, you don't need to label things as positive because you understand it's all a beautiful unfolding process. Three, it doesn't work. It just doesn't work. I've met a lot of people who are positive thinkers who I can't stand to be around. In the, in the word of language, there's duality. So black must be accompanied by white. Otherwise, black has no context. You know, you quite often see in dictionaries, black, the opposite of white. Um, fast, the opposite of slow, to help you understand it. And when you think positively, there is a part of your brain, the duality of nature, that says, well, I want to make a million dollars. I want to make a million I'm going to make a million dollars. There's a part of you going, well, you're not going to make a million dollars. You're going to make, because it has to create duality between the two. Understand that's where the stress comes from. Number three, Number four, like the warrior, you miss opportunities. You are constantly seeing things better than they are. Therefore, you are not really in line with the opportunities that come to you. The other way that um, positive thinking can be a real problem, you can only be positive in the moment. So you can only be happy in the moment. So thinking of a positive situation or outcome is not going to make you happy. It cannot make you happy because it takes you out of the present moment. If you were to be happy in the future, or you were thinking of being happy in the future, you can only be happy in that now of the future. You, there is this concept that I'll be happy when these things happen. Well, if that was true, you could only be happy at the pinpoint moment that that happens when you get all these things. So don't worry about them because that will happen. So be happy now. And you, if you're looking to be positive, if you're looking to become a more positive person, stay centered, stay present, and you'll become positivity. You are positivity, you are brightness, you are light. Trying to become something that you already are is only going to get in the way. And finally, your default mechanism is to be positive. Your default, default mechanism is bliss and, and love. And the self-love that you apply to yourself will create all the positivity you need. You don't need to stress out worrying like remembering time tables to remember to be positive. Be positivity and you won't ever need to worry or stress your brain about thinking about it. Positive thinking that is thinking is a habitual disease, just like overeating. Now, some thinking is good, but thinking too much creates depression, anxiety, and real pain. And we know the psychologists know this now. When you go see a psychologist, they are really reading from the Tao Te Ching or the Power of Now. Modern psychology has failed completely with trying to give people thought systems like positive thinking or uh, cognitive behavioral therapy, constant more and more thinking. And like Albert Einstein said, the same thinking that created the problems of the world will require different, problem, different thinking to solve them. Be who you are, become present, stop labelling, and all of a sudden you'll find that there's no need for positive thinking. I can't wait to see that positive human being that doesn't need to think about all these things, it just comes from their true self tomorrow, but until then, goodbye.